All right, Seattle, we are back. Man, it's time for us to continue our year seven season simulation with your Seattle Stallions. Coming off a first round exit, coming off our Stanley Cup win before that, and four straight President's Trophies. I feel like this is a very good team. We're just, we're just, we're just on the doorstep of becoming a dynasty. You know, if we could have won the Stanley Cup last year, two in a row, that would have been it. Um, I know a lot of people say you got to win that third Stanley Cup for a dynasty, but with what we've accomplished in our short life as a franchise, what we've done during the regular season, I mean, it is known around the NHL that we are a top-tier team. We are a, a, a stacked team. We're just right there on the brink of becoming a dynasty. Not, we're not quite there just yet, but we're, we're right below it. And so I'm hoping that we can take that next step. We've started off year seven in an incredible fashion, 9-1-0, and oh, which means that this team currently is is exactly what we need for the regular season the plus fives are going to help grow these guys they're going to give them the point totals that they need to help a raise their overalls b raise their potentials and c get us into the playoffs but once we get into the playoffs we need to forget about the chemistry and get some good time players so we're going to be taking it to the trade deadline in this video and i more than likely am going to be getting three players for the third and fourth line to replace Carlson, Wagner, Wesley. They're going to get their time during the regular season to grow, but then the playoffs, I need to stack up. And then defensively, I think Hayek might be all right, but Sebastian Aho, it's screw the plus five. We can get like an 85 overall two-way defenseman, throw him in there. And then for the penalty kill, because a lot of people are saying the penalty kill was the reason you lost in the playoffs. Um, I, I don't know if I agree with that, but let's just say I do. We will replace the what's it called the playmakers and such with the guys who can get it done all right so the two-way forwards that we bring in two-way defensemen and uh, we're pretty much on autopilot we'll take it to the end of the regular season and try to win our second stanley cup in three years and uh welcome as well the twitch scouts you are on board with us also ladies and gentlemen this could be the greatest regular season in the history of the nhl what is the greatest record the Twitch scouts will know that. How many win? What's the highest win totals you could ever get in the playoffs? Because we started the year 9-1. and one. If we can go on that winning streak, I mean, it's a lot to ask, right? But has any team ever gotten to 70 wins? You know, is it 65? Is it 63? Something like that? I'd love to see what kind of regular season is in store for these Seattle Stallions as we continue to win games. All right. So we're on autopilot. We're going to take it up. Hopefully we can avoid some injuries. Uh, we're definitely going to be in the playoffs, and I really don't even care about setting a career uh, season or winning the President's Trophy again. Um, we've been there, we've done that, and if you do have a great season, and you do set records, it all comes crashing down with a first round exit, right? So I have a new strat. Trade deadline, just be in the playoffs comfortably, and then we are going to load up. A lot of people are saying 62 wins, the Tampa Bay Lightning, 62-63. Really? It was two years ago was the best team? Tampa Bay, well, last year was the best team, 62. Oh, from Detroit and Tampa. All right. So two squads have made it to the 62 win plateau. All right. So 17 and four. The numbers are coming back down a little bit, but that's okay. We're winning every game in overtime or a shootout. Have we even got, yeah, there's a shootout win against the Minnesota Wilds. All right. 19 and four. So real good season. And what was the best year that we've had? 62 wins or was it 60? What was the best season that I think it was last year was 60. It might have been, but no, we might have had just two 60 win seasons. I can't remember. I cannot remember exactly what our two 60 win seasons were. Last year was 60. The best season was set. So we've had two 60 win seasons. We have not hit 61. So just improving on our own years are, are great. But look at this. This team is stacked. There's no reason to change a damn thing. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is Alexander Ovechkin on that second line once we get to the playoffs. There's no doubt he's a good player who can still get it done but do we need like a mid 80 overall player just to help out even just to help out Pressburg and uh and Nylander on that second line right 28 6 and oh hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah boys this is an awesome season so far all right so let us just let us just stop it there I do want to take a look at some of the uh player stats but I gotta blow my nose so hang on one second here ladies and gentlemen okay so we're up here January 37 and oh baby oh yeah it's a beautiful start to the season so let us quickly just take a what the fuck Jake Bean how the hell our team is a Jake Bean alongside of what's his face I don't even know he might have he might have, like, uh, what's his name? Volk. He might be point per game. Or, no, uh, what's it called? Plus per game. Plus 82 by the end of the season. <laughs> Norris Trophy incoming. Yeah. And uh, the reason why Jake Bean fluctuates so much. I think he's a legitimate 84, 85 overall. 
Um, the reason he jumped up to 89 was that one season was 76 points. Then he dropped back, and he's been getting 58 points. But if he has another season like that, he's going to jump jump back up to 89, 90 for the for next year, right? So that's really good for us. We're getting a. This is why the plus five works because it helps grow your team. So I am a big believer in the chemistry because Bean's now going to come back as a 90 overall, and that's a direct result from the plus five chemistry. Absolutely, all right. But uh, then when it comes to the playoffs, you need to shake it up a little bit. Pressburg, 40 points. Lafreniere. And people were shitting on Lafreniere saying he hasn't really done much. He's a playmaking winger. Look what he... Point per game. 92 points. Point per game. Point per game. Plus 40. Plus 34. Plus 30. How is that nothing? How is that nothing? You're not looking at the defensive side of things that he brings. He's incredible in his own defensive end. Incredible. All right. He just doesn't take too many shots. He needs a playmaker alongside of him or a, a power forward or a sniper. It might even be great to put, uh, what's his name? A press board alongside of him. Those two could work incredibly well together. But uh, you're, you're, you're crazy. 20 minutes, he's averaging time on ice and he's a plus player. Get the hell out of here. Nylander, great signing. Toivo, Tara Viden. I know the, how to sign them. I know what my team needs. Point per game. Ovechkin. See, Ovi does it during the regular season. He's doing fine. Uh, Anderson, Kubelik, point per game. Van Ryan's point per game. What the fuck? My old team's point per game. But the fourth line. All right. So this is what I mean about two-way forwards. Now, what about the Wolf, Volchenkov? Plus, where is he? Plus 31. <laughs> he got a goal. <laughs> he scored. <laughs> He's got 17. Man, Jake Bean loves playing alongside of Volchenkov, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez. And what about our goaltender situation? Eight. Se All right. That makes sense. Our team is just uh, incredible. They don't allow a lot of shots. And uh, these goalies are only 81 overall. So at least, you know, whatever. At least I'm getting what I paid for. At least it's logical. It's rational. I have a shitty goalie, so I have shitty goaltender stats. You know, <laughs> it's, it's acceptable. I hate when I have a good goalie and his, his stats are not too much better. Like, what's the point? You tell me if I had a Vesna goalie, we'd be 37-0? and 0? I highly doubt it. So let us go past the Montreal Canadiens game. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 I almost went past the trade deadline. Let's go past the Boston Bruins game, and uh, we'll make some last-minute decisions on trying to really beef up this squad for a playoff run. We may sacrifice the regular season because our chemistry might be thrown out of whack. I don't care. That's, I think, what our new strategy needs to be. Regular season, growth, especially if you're in championship mode. If you're in growth mode, like you're, you know you're probably not going to win the Stanley Cup, but you have young players that are getting better, then you should leave the chemistry all the time. But once you get into championship mode, like our team is in, you need to start making some extra uh, extra changes. So Ludwig Carlson's been injured with a bruised hand. Uh, he's going to come back right away. I'm just going to replace player. All right, 36-7-1. We actually lost in overtime. Overtime loss there to Arizona. I think that's two losses on the year to Arizona. Oh, shit! Uh, Michael DiPietro has been injured with a swollen knee. Gonna have to bring up a third goalie here, ladies and gentlemen. Might lose somebody to waivers. What do we got? What do we got? Galchenyuk, waivers eligible? No, he's not eligible for waivers. Good. So, Galchenyuk, get your ass up here. Bang. All right. Uh, edit lines. He's made a glass. Give him a break. It's his first year. That's his first injury. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Cousins, right? Cause Carly, right, 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 right. Even with the plus one, we're still winning. I'm not changing anything. We're on, we're on autopilot, ladies and gentlemen. Galchenyuk, get your ass in there, all right? William Galchenyuk. When do we draft this guy? Starter, first round, 2000. He's not becoming a bad goalie, cause the starter potential. If he gets a jump, yo, I want to give Galchenyuk a start. Back that at lines. AHL best line. What the hell? I don't care what happens in the AHL. Our whole team is stop. Galchenyuk, first game, he wins it 6-4. to four. Galchenyuk gets in there and gets his first career NHL W, ladies and gentlemen. It was a tricky one, but he's got goal support here as a member of the Seattle Stallions. Hang on a second. Did he actually play? Maybe the game took him out because of the automated ro uh, goalie rotation. See what I mean about Ovi? 79 overall. So we need to find a replacement for the playoffs. He's great right now. He's helping out Pressburg and William Nylander get their points and grow. But we need a replacement sniper. Without a shadow. Of a doubt. Goalies. Galley, what'd you do? What'd you, 32 games played. He didn't start! The game screwed him over! Damn it! Alright, hang on. Uh, Alright, so up against the Ottawa Senators. Come on now, Galley. You gotta get in there, my man. I gotta get Galley in there, boys. I wanna see a game for Galley. I wanna see his first career game. Galchenyuk. Bang, bang. There you go. Galley is in there. And now, we're going to go into a real-time sim. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Real-time quick time, all right? We'll go through the first and second period nice and quickly. A third, we'll go, uh, we'll go slow. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
First period. Yeah, baby. Oh, up against Leon Dreisaitl and the Ottawa Senators. Oh, I don't see Leon scoring. What a garbage. Uh, Jake Bean and Alexander Ovechkin. Second period. All righty. Wagner. Galchenyuk allows one goal on Galchenyuk. Third period. Oh, shit. He did score. Son of a bitch. All right. Overtime with the goalie Galchenyuk. Let's jump in. So, here we are, over to, man, there's a lot of open ice out there, ladies and gentlemen. Poor Galchenyuk, he's gonna have to go up against Leon Dreisaitl, Shane Wright, there he is, Shane Wright, the drafted player of the Ottawa Senators. He is uh, starting to hit his, just starting to hit his prime. Let's see what the, uh, oh god, Galchenyuk up against Shane Wright, with number 44 driving hard to the net, Shane Wright finds Chabot! Oh, and Galchenyuk gets snipped on, ladies and gentlemen! No! Poor guy, his very first career NHL game on front of his fans. And he allows the third period collapse, and then Shabbat snipes it. Low blocker. Don't worry, kid. All right, you're young. Welcome to the NHL. It's all faster out here. And that's his first taste of three-on-three -three as well. You know, I don't know. Do they have three-on-three -three in the AHL? You know what they probably do. I'm probably talking out my ass right now. But still, it's the first experience of three-on-three -three NHL hockey. And snippity-doo, Shabbat gives the Senators a W. Let's get to the next one. Okay, so the rookie game, the de debut game for Galchenyuk didn't quite go according to plan, the way he's dreamed it up. He's envisioned it his entire life, right? But uh, welcome to the NHL, kid. You got us the point in overtime. Don't worry about a damn thing, all right? If anything, the uh, the Seattle Stallions didn't play well on front of you. We had a lot more firepower than the 15, 28, and 5 Ottawa Senators. Yeah, Leon Dry... By the way, oh, you should have gone for Leon Dreisaitl. Get him as a first-line center and just say screw it to Elias Anderson, who's getting paid $3 million. You crazy fools. View lines. Hang on a second. Let's take a look at Leon Dreisaitl and what he's done. There's no doubt in my mind that Leon's a great player, but... Uh, like a 12 13 million dollars it just it just takes away all of our uh, abilities uh, 25 goal i mean certainly certainly he's going to get it done but i can replicate those kind of numbers with my team if we needed a stud to build the team around okay but we already have the three studs lafreniere pressburg and volchenkov and then the other guys like 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 bean like like anderson kubelik nylander they fill it up we don't need another guy like this all right, and with the extra cap space that we saved on Dreisaitl, we can now fill up that third, fourth line, the defensive core with mid-80 overall rentals, right? Which is what you guys in the Twitch chat were saying. We need high overalls because the chemistry does not affect the playoff sim. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but it does feel like that based on the results. <laughs> Five is, like, we're going to win the President's Trophy unless we just shit the bed. And he's back! Michael DiPietro! Oh! He's all right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let me just go to options. I'm going to have to send down the goalie because once... Who is it? It's our second... It's our third line right... Left wing. Who is our third line left wing? Shit, who's our third line uh, left wing? Hang on. Hang on. It's a, it's a powerful... Who's our third line... Carlson, that's it. Ludwig Carlson. Right, right, that's why I couldn't... The new guy, Ludwig Carlson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, boys. Drawing a blank. Uh, all right, so Galchenyuk, you're going to be sent back down. He does not have waiver eligibility, so I'm safe. All right, edit lines. Yeah, I know all these new kids that we're given the chance to. Ludwig Carlson with Van Ryan. I got to get used to that there. Cousins is, uh, is on the line for right now. Uh, and we will throw it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Game. Let me do my thing. DiPietro, get your ass in there. Uh, I'll go Bednar, though, to start the next game just to give him a break. And then Cousins. I could even, you know... Nah, just keep it the way it is. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. So let's continue the simulation. Your 38-7 and 2 Seattle Stallions are on the autoist of autopilots. Ludwig Carlson's available play. Yes, I want to get him back in because this is the time that we play him to grow. All right? I wouldn't say he grows much more, more than like an 80-81 overall. Uh, if we wanted him to grow more than that, we'd have to put him in the top six. But I don't need anybody in the top six right now. My top six is set. I just need that plus five in the, uh, like, like, the plus ten in the bottom six, essentially, to really help out with the growth and the regular season simulation. That's all that chemistry is for. Once we get to the playoffs, uh, we can make that change, but they'll still get the growth from all the regular season games that they participated in. Paul Bittner, uh, I don't need any uh, waivers right now. All right, there's a loss to the uh, Las Vegas Golden Knights. So we have, what, 12 more losses? Woo! Is that the first time all season we've lost back-to-back? -back? Might have been the first time all season that we've... Oh! Three in a row! What the hell is going on? That's crazy. 
He might just say goodbye to the 70 win season with that, ladies and gentlemen. We have to we have to win 20 in a row now, or 30 in a row to get there. It is. Ooh, we're going on a little bit of a losing streak. Blow it up, garbage. <laughs> no, it's it's typical. You know, this is what happens to a team that just knows they can dominate during the regular season. They lose that edge. They lose that energy. Yeah, we're going on a little bit of a losing streak right here, ladies and gentlemen. But that's okay. I love how our losing streak is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7, 8, 9, 10. It's like, you know, 5 and 5 is our losing streak. <laughs> that's, that's, that's hilarious. All we need is like one good run. And we can certainly get to 61 wins and beat our record. And even maybe get to 63, which is the all-time record, all right? So we're within striking range. 47-13. I mean, my God, our team is fucking incredible. Uh, I demonetized, I know. But I love this team. Jake Bean is a assist-per-game kind of defenseman. All right, so let's do standings. Let's take a look at this. Tuck just got traded three times, really? He's getting flipped around. I didn't even read it. <laughs> uh, you guys spotted that. I didn't even see what a goof. All right, so forwards. Let's see here. Laffy Taffy, Anderson, William Nylander. Yeah, they're all doing their jobs. Uh, I guarantee you Lafreniere would get more points as well if we weren't so deep. Like, the game is just spreading out the offense, essentially. Pressburg, another 40. Might even get a 50-goal year. Van Ryan, what a... I mean, our third line is point per game. Kubelik, uh, Ovechkin. Yeah, we could definitely... Ovi... Plus 13. We could definitely move on from Ovi, I think. Wagner, Wesley, and then the fourth line... Only a minor. I mean, they've got to find a way to get goals on us somehow. It's going to be the fourth line, I guess. Bean, Volchenkov, a plus 37, plus 47. Yes, I love I love our defensive core. And then goaltenders. Hell yeah, Di Pietro. We might even want to sign Di Pietro to an extension. Because you never know. He might get some huge growth. All right. Okay, so we're at the trade deadline. Let us do our due diligence, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and let's see what kind of second line right wing we could bring in. Uh, and also defense. I, I could target players that teams aren't willing to give up, but let's just see if we can get lucky because we don't have a lot of uh, assets to trade anymore. We're starting to get a little bit low. Uh, Doomlin, Jankowski. All right, so like a guy like Jankowski might be perfect for the fourth line. Uh, Two-way forward, all right, just throw him back there, although he doesn't help out in the penalty kill. I'd love to find somebody who, uh, who fits on the penalty kill. If we're going to go for somebody who's 80 overall, top six forward line, I follow. All forward lines. All right. So there's a few 80 overall players that we can go for there. Uh, you, you, Mangia Payne. That's a sniper, is it? Yeah, that's a sniper. We're not going to need a sniper. Uh, it's a Binajad. Three years left. Two way for, for the fourth. I mean, Jesus. That could be game changing. But how am I going to tell Mika Zabinajad playing the fourth line for us? Could just be for one year and then I could reflip him. But holy shit, nah, that's overkill. That's way too trade. That's too way too much trade value to try to get him. Gallagher, two way forward for the fourth line. Bottom, oh hell yes, Brendan Gallagher. That's perfect. Thirty three years of age. Trade that is perfect. That is perfect. Brendan Gallagher. All right. So hang on a second. Let me take a look at Brendan Gallagher's. Uh, ah, we haven't done this in a while, right? But the advanced analytics. Yeah, he's a takeaway body checker. Exactly what we need for the fourth line. And I think even though he's not good for the penalty kill, he's got the player type for the penalty kill. So it'll be it'll be zero. And then when we get to the playoff sim without the chemistry, he'll be a good penalty killer for us. We can't see. What do you mean you can't see? Oh, the chat. Fuck. 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 Yeah. When I go advanced analytics. Sorry. Sorry. I'll I'll try to remember that. Uh, there you go. There's the advanced analytics. 39, 40. All right. He's a very disciplined player. He body checks. He can help out that fourth line a little bit. All right. Now that doesn't play into the chemistry strategy that we're going with, but the chemistry strategy has dealt us three first round exits after four president's trophies. So we got to change something up there. So Gallagher on Chicago, I like. All right. So can you guys in the Twitch scouts just remember that for me? Okay. Chicago, Galli G. Uh, next up, Tanaby. Who's this guy? Defensive... Can't sign him to a contract anyways. We're past December 1st. That's not going to work. Uh, okay. Center, two-way forward. Okay. So, and he's 26 years of age. All right. So, Galli G for the center. Teixeira for the, uh, or uh, Galli G for the wing. Teixeira for the center. Ruzika, power forward. No, I'd want two-way forwards. I don't want any more power forwards. I want two-way forwards or two-way defensemen. Gabriel Carlson. All defensive pairing, so we can get two here. We can get a Gabriel Carlson and a Teixeira, or Teixeira. How do you pronounce his name? I'm thinking of a fucking baseball player, T -T Teixeira. How do you pronounce his name? I'm thinking of friggin', what's his first name? The guy who played for New York. 
Tex Texaya Texaya. Oh God, I was butchering Texaya Texia Texia Texera Texaya. Right, I'm going Texaya Texaya. All right, there you go. I'm probably butchering it there as well, but I don't care anymore. Blake Coleman 79. I'd rather go a little bit higher. So Te Texaya and Carlson could be interesting. Uh, Columbus. Hang on. I, what the fuck? Dallas. Marchant. No. Lekkanen. Sniper, I believe. Lekkanen. Yeah, I don't need snipers. Especially like I don't need snipers. Claude Giroux. Playmaker. Don't need a playmaker. Nah, I don't need a playmaker anywhere. He's the same thing as an Ovechkin. You know, the older guys. I'm not looking for older guys anymore. Uh, Texia. 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 All right. Texia. Got it. Uh, the Nuge. Two-way. Fourth line. That's overkill. Although, he's nice and cheap. But he doesn't help on the penalty kill, so that's not going to work out. Uh, to Foley and Kempney. The Nuge could work out in the fourth line for us, though, boys. Two-way forward. Let me see his individual stats. Johnny, you dumb fuck. Texa. Texier? Texier? <laughs> All right. So, Nuge is a takeaway artist. He's just not a body checker. <laughs> Get over it, boys. All right? Get over it. Jesus. All right? I, I mispronounce names. Get over it. Gran Granny Smith, Joshua Hosang, Niederreiter, Dickinson, two-way. Fourth line, doesn't work. Uh, Ryan Murray, oh, here we go. Ryan Murray, two-way defender. Defensive pairing number three. So that's a little bit much. That's three years, I don't want to go after that. Uh, Tyler Johnson, two-way forward, first forward line. He's like an offensive, uh, def uh, he's an offensive forward, so I shouldn't go after him. Uh, Butcher, Will Butcher, here we go. Two-way defenseman, one year left. All right, so how about like a Will Butcher? And who was the other guy? Uh, Will Butcher and the guy from Chicago? Shit, who was the guy? All defensive pairings. So how about like a Will Butcher and the other guy from Chicago? Who was the other guy in Chicago? Fuck, I forget the name. Suzuki, Brodeen, Shaw, Shiri, Terry, Gallagher. There you go. Terry could also work. Yeah, all right. So Montreal with Butcher. Ryan Johnson, Ryan Johansson, sorry. Uh, Brendan Saad, no. McLeod, he's a little bit much trade value. Two-way forward, bottom six. Okay, that's good. McLeod, yeah, there's all... Okay, so there's enough two-way centers and, and wingers that I could certainly find here. So we'll start off with the ones that I want. Kreider, no. Shane Wright of the Ottawa Senators. My God. Oh, oh my God. It could totally work. It could totally work. Get the plus three, but I mean, what would I have to give up for that? Do it, do it. He signed six years as well, which is exactly what we need. All right, all right. Just for due diligence purposes, what would they want? What would they want? No, let me just go down the list. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. Yes, I would go. Why would they fucking want to give up? Shane Wright signed for six years for. <sighs> You know, I'm not doing the trade. It's stupid. I'm not doing the trade. It's dumb. This is one of those ones where I'm just going to make an executive decision. That is cheese fleece. That is just dumb. I don't know why. No fucking clue. I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing it. I don't care if you guys think I should do it. Hey, should we go for the four? The four, sir? With, uh, with Tuck? <laughs> trade for him four times? <laughs> Brock Nelson. All forward lines. He is a power forward. Don't need that. Rust. Roslovich. Yeah, there's a bunch of two-way forwards that we can go after here. So we just got to go after the ones that we... Th Colton Pareko. Doesn't fit, though. I was going to say defense to defense, and that could be perfect. Thomas, two-way, third forward line. Couldn't find any uh, two-way forwards that help out on the penalty kill, which is unfortunate. Gustafson, three years left, though. Uh, Costin, power forward. No, I don't need a power forward. Defensive defenseman, two-way defenseman. Sorry, two-way forwards and two-way defenseman. That's all I want. Was in... Booth, Theodore, oof, that would be nice, but nah, it's too much, Glass, Cody Glass, it would be nice, it's too much, Coughlin, yeah, that's nice, too much though, he's got, how many years, five years left, no, Miller, two years left, nope, I want guys with one year left, I don't need any of this, uh, then 81s, Washington, Matt Dumba, <sighs> That is a lot, but hello, you really help. I mean, imagine him on the penalty kill. You know what I mean? Like, that is you're taking a splash, and you're going for it. That is a going all in for a guy. Just the trade is a little bit much. Carlson. Oh, Carlson. Even better. Ha! That's the one. 
That is the fucking one. Third line, I would be willing to pay that trade value. 89 overall. That's the one. That is the one right there. Veteran, one year. I don't care about the salary. He's 89 overall. Even if that drops, the trade value is doable. They throw him on the third defensive pairing. I, I, who cares? You know what I mean? That's the one. That's the one to help. I was even thinking Dumba, but the trade value is But that's the one. That is perfect. Yep. Yep. So Carlson and uh, and uh, Gal... But I want Carlson first. Carlson's the big piece. Screw Gallagher. I'm sorry. This one is massive. This one is massive. It also gives us flexibility. If we're not playing well, I can move him up to the first line alongside of Volchenkov. You know what I mean? I can move him up to the first line alongside of Bean. Because he's the same as a Noah Hannafin. 89 overall two-way defender. Him and Ovi. Yeah, yeah. All right, so who are we going after? They are below 500, so really, realistically, prospects and draft picks. Uh, I don't have any draft picks for this year, but I do what they don't want. Okay, so they want two seconds. So I'll just throw them in there just for now. Just so we can see value-wise. Because that's not, that's not getting crazy. Uh, and then, goal, we might have to trade away one of our other goalie prospects. Okay, Cools and Ward. Cools looks better. Yeah, I might want to move on from maybe, because if we're getting a good player here, we got to get something back. Now, what about the skaters that they want? Uh, not giving up a damn thing. Fise? No, he was our uh, grinder. No, he, you're not going a damn place. Uh, Malatesta? Playmaker. Got any, I don't know. I think Malatesta's good to have because you could use him on the second line. Like, I think that's a good guy to hold on to. But he's already, I don't know. Zadorov, sniper that we drafted. He's good for the third line and the second line. No, Zadorov's not going anywhere. Sheroff, two-way defender. <gasps> okay, I drafted a two-way defender. That guy can go. He hasn't been signed and he's he's got good trade value. So he's obviously playing well in like the KHL or something. Hey, heck no. Ward, no, none of those guys. All right, so share off. So they're getting a defensive prospect, two seconds. That's a fleece. No, that's a fleece. I know what I need to do. It's just really simple, ladies and gentlemen. It's really simple. Let's see. Do they have any goaltender prospects? If we're going to pay, we got to pay uh, goalies. Let's see. Do they have? Exact elite. He's 29, though. 60. Eh. Yeah, you know what? It would be nice to have another goalie prospect in the... Uh, in the system for them so you know what that's exactly what we're gonna do uh we've drafted all these goalies we know which ones we want in the future cools is i don't know if he's one full year younger he might just be a couple of months and we're in that we're in that window right now who do you guys like cools or ward there's cools he's 5 11 19 years of age his poise is at 66 overall take a look at those individual stats followed up by anthony ward cools ward ward six foot two i like ward just for the height but cools is younger Cools was drafted in the third round. Ward was drafted in the fourth round, both in 2024. They are both identical. What do you guys think? Keep Ward. Ward is not as good. Ward is taller. I don't know if height has anything to do with the simulation, though. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just I mean, if they're essentially the same player, you know. Check stats. Okay, okay, that's a good, yeah, 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 that's a good, that's a good idea. Here is Jackson Cools stats. What he has done in the U.S. of A. 914, 901, 901. All right, so a 901 save percentage. Uh, and uh, oh, and Cools and Ward. Fuck. Ward. 917, 88. I mean, he didn't. Ward has not played nearly as. I'm going to go with Cools. Because if Cools getting more gameplay, he might get more jump. Does that make sense? He's playing more. I think I should keep Cools. I think I should keep Cools. He's getting the starter time while Ward is, is not playing. Keep Cools. Yeah, yeah. Ward is playing as a backup, so he not he might not be getting any growth down there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, whoever. Just a great idea to check out the stats. Great idea. All right, so it's a little bit much, but uh, they're getting a top-tier goalie prospect, and I don't have a first to give them. They're getting two seconds. Uh, people may feel like I'm overpaying. John Carlson is a former Norris Trophy winner. He's a legit player. There'd be teams offering him first-rounders. I am always going to overpay. Straight up. Banger. There it is. All right. Ludvig Carlson's got to be moved down. Uh, he won't be dropped through waivers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why would he want to do that? Hang on. Because Carlson's going to come up. I'm trading for a roster player. That's the reason. Okay, hang on a second. Exit trade. I got to make sure that Ludwig Carlson's not going to drop through waivers. Uh, roster moves. Hang on a second here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, goalies, I'm going to be bringing in a defenseman. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might as well use Roy as my backup so I can send Sebastian Aho down, right? Yeah. So, I'm sending Sebastian Aho down. He's going to get picked up by waivers, ladies and gentlemen. I got to send one defenseman down. 
Do you guys want Roy? Yeah, we want Roy because he can, he can also kill the penalty. So Aho is gone. Roy becomes the seventh defenseman. Hayek is the fifth. And Carlson, yeah, that's the one. So Sebastian Aho, I'm going to send down. Trade him? No, I'm not going to trade him. I'm not going to do that little stuff, all right? I'm just going to send him down through waivers. We have to make uh, realistic moves here. All right, so Sebastian Aho uh there you go it sucks a ho thank you for filling up the team but gotta go and he's going to the ottawa senators ladies and gentlemen all right there you go sebastian uh edit lines sure trade him trade him now i'm not gonna trade him uh extra attackers what do we what the hell how is extra attackers not oh sebastian a ho the guy jeremy roy okay so let me just get jeremy roy back in there for right now okay uh let me back out I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm going to hit something and I, I won't be able to go back. And I don't want to have to ask you fucking, you know what? Hang on a second. <laughs> We've had a good season. I just, uh, let us not tempt fate. You never know with this game, especially when you're doing all these roster moves. I had a, l a lag out before. Create new file. You never know. You never know. You never know. All right. There you go. That's that taken care of. All right. So now let's go back to propose trade. Go to Washington. Bring up Carlson. Skate who's matching the block. Carlson, get your ass in there. All right. And going back the other way. Again, it's going to be Ward. The goalie was in the backup. And then uh, two seconds. All right. There it is. Ward and two seconds for a rental. John Carlson. Uh, uh, and just to... I, I'm pretty sure he didn't. But just to make sure. Defenseman. Carlson. Extension. No, he's got no extension. So I'm not taking on anything dumb here. All right. Ward. I almost feel guilty to saying yes to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, feel guilty all you want. 47, 13, and 2. I think I know what I'm doing, you freaking morons. All right, so there is trade number one. And we are over the salary cap. We're going to have to fix that shit out. All right, so edit lines. Hang on a second. You're over the cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'll be able to fix that. We can always make some moves. Um, it's because of a lot of our players are in the AHL who have some cap. I can always make a make that fix. So Volchenkov, Bean, Carlo, Gerard, Hayek, Roy, and scratch players. We're gonna go in Carlson. All right. Because I want the defensive defenseman to stay. We got to focus on keeping the puck out of the net. All right. So there it is. There's his individual stats. He actually fits in on the second line, so you can keep the. The plus threes. But for right now, we want to continue to grow Gerard and Carlo. So what I think I want to do is come playoff time, we might want to throw Carlo with Carlson, right? And then Gerard and Hayek for the fourth line. But for right now, I got to keep Carlson because I want to grow the future. Remember, it's it's it's, it's a two-pronged strategy. Uh, so we got Carlson in there. Uh, our scratch players, Cousins, Kane, and Roy. So I can always throw in uh, Evander Kane there. I can throw Cousins in there. We're going to need a third line two-way forward, which could be Gallagher. And then a second line. We still need to get a second line sniper and a, a Brennan Gallagher. So we're going to need a replacement for Ovechkin. All right. So there were no snipers. Was there any snipers available? I got to go back through it. Yeah. All right. So proposed trade. We don't need to get a great sniper in there, but yeah. So let me start looking for a sniper now. Instead of getting Gallagher, because I think Gallagher was a little bit much. I think the second line sniper to replace Ovechkin for the playoffs, that's more important right now. So let me just go through this again. It doesn't need to be somebody good. Like it could be Nike. Well, Nyquist is dropping off as well. I just need a guy who's young, who maybe has some speed on him. Uh, Mangia Payne. Tanev. No, I want like a winger sniper. Yanmark. Here we go. Two years left. What do you fit on? Forward line number four. No, I don't need that. Sunfist. I'll come back to Gallagher, boys. I'm just trying to find a sniper right now that is comparable to Ovechkin. Maybe a little bit better than him. I'll run Ovi for the rest of the season. But uh, power play line number two, Svechnikov. There it is. Evgeny Svechnikov for the power. for the uh, And they want to give him up. Yeah. Would you guys have any disagreement with getting Evgeny Svechnikov? He fits on the forward second line. I don't think it'll give us a plus five. But it'll give us the plus three, and it's an 83 overall sniper on the second line rather than an aging 80 overall guy. All right, he has eight goals. I know, I'm just getting him for the overall number in the playoffs, guys. That's it. I'm just getting a depth guy to put on the second line for the playoffs. That is it. I'll keep Ovi, don't worry, but if we lose a game, I need to have a backup plan. Okay, so Svechnikov comes up. Let's just continue. Uh, oh, Toffoli, bottom six. Uh, Andreas Janssen. No, we already had Andreas Janssen on our team. Halfman's not going to work. 
Tatar. Uh, forward line number one. That's not going to work. Hosang, Yarncroc, Yarny. Top six. Bring Yarny back, but uh, the other guy's better, to be honest. Nope. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Ryan Murray, Johnson. Uh, nope, none of those guys. Uh, Andrew Shaw, no. I just need that one sniper. Brendan Saad, Burakovsky, three years, though. It's, nah, that works, but three, I can't do that. I can't afford to pay that much. Uh, Armia, Bailey, no. Phil Kessel, but he doesn't fit in on the line, and we had him in the playoffs last year. I, didn't, I need somebody who can perform in the playoffs. Uh, Sebastian Aho, Formentin, no. Uh, no. Tuck Kajula, is he a sniper or is he two-way? Two-way. Zucker. Rupert, Pareko, Thomas, Silverberg, 82. Nah, 82, you might as well leave Ovechkin in there. 80. Yeah, I think uh, I think that first sniper that we came across is probably the best bet. Hartman, Jenner, no. Uh, and they need to be a winger. I, they can't be... Is Gusev a playmaker? Yeah, Gusev is a playmaker. They need to be a winger. They cannot be a center because then we lose that chemistry. I want it, I want to have the chemistry just in case it does come into play during the regular season, but I also want the, or during the playoffs, but I also want the overall. All right, so there was that one sniper. That one sniper I'm going after. Uh, who was it again? Hang on. McGillney, no. Uh, shit, who was it? Svechnikov, that's it. All right, so Evgeny Svechnikov, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go after him. Uh, is there anyone else I could pick up on this team? Donskoy, no, don't need you. Rasmussen. He fits on the second line, but he's a center, and he's a little bit more trade value. So, no. We're just going to get Evgeny Svechnikov here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and going back the other way, let me see here. Might as well do a roster player, just so we're not, uh, you know, sending players down through waivers. So, it's got to be one of our roster guys. Might as well send down our worst guy. Wagner, he's playing. I'm trying to grow him. Carlson, I'm growing him. Ovi, I'm keeping him for right now. Evander. I can keep Evander for the playoff run, though, because he's a power forward. Nick Cousins, he can be replaced. Spiller, Van Ryan. All right, there has to be a tough decision here. Spiller, I think, is going to stay because we uh, Spiller, we, we might want to part ways with in the few. He's got high top six potential, though. My God. Aberg is in the AHL already, ladies and gentlemen, so it's not going to matter there. We're going to lose somebody in, in waivers. I'm just trying to think who do we want to lose. Wagner, power forward. Is he... Uh, he could work out for us. I just don't know. But then again, I'm finding a better... F you know what? That's the one. Because I got Ludwig Carlson for the third... Yeah, Matt Wagner. He's the one. So we spent a year trying to groom Wagner, but he's a fourth liner. He's not going to make the third line. And it seems like we have decided that we want two-way forwards for the fourth line or grinders. So that is is um expendable for us people are saying kane i want to keep the overalls for the playoff guys wagner is a guy i'll show you he's played fourth line minutes he hasn't got great numbers on the fourth line which means he's going to stay at 78 something overall minus three i it sucks but we're going for a freaking cup i don't mind giving up a fourth liner who's always going to be on the fourth line for us relax now we're oh we're over the salary cap can i get them to retain some salary hang on move ovi well, Ovi's contributing to the regular season right now. I don't want to make that choice. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, we're over the salary cap now. Interesting. So, getting guys like... Uh, okay. Okay, so if we're over the salary cap, then I will keep Wagner. And we'll see if we can get a Vander Kane out of there. Yes, okay. So, you guys okay with doing that? We're going to keep Wagner for the depth. So Wagner over Kane for the fourth line for depth. But now we have that second line. Is that all right? Yes. He can't do that. Aberg. No, if we trade Aberg, we're going to lose somebody to um, waivers anyways. He's 79 overall. Yeah, I know. I was just getting with uh, Kane just in case. Uh, he, he, he's been in uh, Seattle before, but we haven't needed him over the course of the regular season. And we're going to need a second. Yeah, okay. All right. So Kane, they don't want to give up... Uh, they don't want to take on Kane, but they need some sort of, what's it called, roster player to make this go through. Uh, I'll give you a starter goaltender prospect, Howes. All right, there you go. And I'll give you a draft pick. So they're getting a roster player they don't want, but a goalie prospect uh, and a draft pick. All right, so I'll go next year's third because we have next year's first. Uh, this year we're a little bit weak. Yeah, trading away all of our draft picks. All right, so a goalie prospect, a third, and Patrick Kane for a rental in Evgeny Svechnikov, although they might not trade him because we've retained salary. Let's see. Trade accepted. All right, so there it is. 
uh that is that tray taken care of now let's go back and edit all the lines see what we got we're not we're, we might not be able to bring in gallagher for the fourth line now that we the carlson one was the big one i spent all my money on car but i'm really happy with that because it was it wasn't our goals for it was our goals against and carlson will help that out ovechkin see what i mean 79 overall we're gonna leave him in there for right now but uh if i need to svechnikov i can throw him in there for the power play see we even we lost the plus three but he's a better overall when the playoffs hit. So I'm leaving Ovi in there for right now because he's giving uh, Pressburg and Nylander the plus three. But when the playoffs hit, if we lose one game, he's I'm going straight to Svechnikov, all right? So Pressburg dropped. Yeah, well, Pressburg's going to go up and down. It's because he's on that second line, all right? All of these guys grew a lot faster than they should have because of the plus fives. So they're going to go up and down based on whatever season they're in. Uh, don't be surprised if he comes back next year and he's even better because look at the amount of points he has. He might come back as a 90 overall at the end of the season. So we got that taken care of. Carlson, I'd love to get a power forward in there for the third line or a two-way forward. So we just need to get, if I can get one more two-way forward, that would be the fit. All right, so I can always throw Svechnikov on the third line uh, or we can move Ovechkin to the fourth line for the playoffs. There's a lot of different variety that I can do there. Jeremy Roy, Cousins. So if we're going to trade, we might trade Cousins then for a Brendan Gallagher or something. All right, so let's go back and see what we can do with Brendan Gallagher, see if it, it all is a possibility. If not, if we're over the salary cap, then uh, that then this is our team, all right? Instead of getting a bunch of depth, we decided to go straight up with the defenseman to help out. And after all, what, what, what Hannafin did for us two years ago, that uh, I'm a big believer now. So, yeah, Brennan Gallagher's $5.9 million. I don't think we're going to be able to take that, ladies and gentlemen. So, let me just go Nick Cousins. It would be Cousins that would be going back the other way. No. So, we have reached our salary cap limit here, ladies and gents. There is nothing we can do uh, uh, to get that... Te uh, Texi uh, Texier? Texier? Let me see Texier. Was he on? Yeah, he was on this team. 2.3 million as a center two-way forward. All right, all right, I like that. And he fits on the first forward line. All right, so I'll try that as well. Let's see if we can get Texier for Cousins. All right, because Nick Cousins was the playmaker, but we have the playmaker now that we can use. Seattle would be over the league maps, maximum salary caps, or minimum, so is maximum? Might be maximum. All right, so there you go. I can get them to retain, and that would be the one two-way forward that we could use on the fourth line or the third line. He could also play the wing, and he can also get there, get there and uh, kill off some penalties. Are we okay with that? Are we okay? Which we traded four cousins, and now we're, we're we're trading them away. Are we okay with that trade? This is gonna be the last trade, baby. This is gonna be the last thing. Yeah, good, good to go. All right, so cousins for uh, Texier. What else do they want? Goalies matching the block. Uh, Galchenyuk. I'm going to hold on to Galchenyuk and Cools. Starters. Uh, let's just give them something that we know we're not going to use. Vert, Vert, uh, Vertanen. Low top four. What was he? Offensive defenseman. I want to keep him. He might be something. Uh, Pecker. Sniper. Keep him. Garnett. Grinder. Keep him. Sunfist. Two-way defender. So I'll part ways with him. I know it's not much, but you're just going to give him a, a bunch here. Tiny Claxon's a power forward. I'm going to hold on to him. Uh, what is Sheroff? That might be the guy. Two-way defense. You know what? That's the guy. We know we're not going to have... We got him. We were happy that he gives us some value. All right. There you go. So Sheroff, Sunfist, and Cousins. And coming back the other way is going to be Texier. And do they want to give up any depth draft picks? Yes, they do. Let's see if we can get a couple of thirds back here to help out this year's draft. All right. So they're getting, they're getting a, a, a top-tier prospect here. This guy went... I mean, went in the fourth round, but he's got uh, he's got some value to it. You know what? That's a little bit too much. Let's get one third back, all right? So Cousins, Sunfist, Sheroff for a guy that they're going to lose and a third. Will it go through? A trade accepted. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Bang! There it is. That's our team. That is our team. We are set. No more changes. We are capped out with our salary. All right, so this is the team that you have for the Stanley Cup run. Sveshnikov, Roy, and Texier on the bench. All right, Ovi, I'm going to leave these guys in here because we need the plus fives. But imagine Svechnikov right there, uh, 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 probably power forward. Uh, yeah, probably Ovechkin or Texier right there, and then Ovechkin right down there. So we are going to have some 70s for the playoffs, uh, but then our defensive core looks really, really good, okay? Okay, so I'm happy with it. 
I'm happy with it. What we didn't get is we didn't improve our goaltender situation for the playoffs. Would there have been... Let me just do one more due diligence. I know I've spent a lot of time in the trade screen, but this is what we had to do. Uh, skaters matching the block. Goalies matching the block. Let's just go through. If there's any, like, real cheap goalies that we could sign that's better than 81 overall, you know? Maybe. Maybe you want to go ahead and do that. But, uh, I don't know. I could trust DiPietro and, uh, what's his face? Corpusalo, one year, 8.8 .8 million. Would not be able to take that cap on. Um... And plus, we've had good goalies, 86, 87 overall goaltenders, and they completely shit the bed during the playoffs, right? So, I've decided to use the money up front. I want to see the money on the ice, not in between the posts. Everyone's like 80 overall. Yeah, there's no good goalies. 81 overall. Philly, Pittsburgh, doo -doo -doo, St. Louis, Gustafson, 83, but 4.1 million one year. I might have been able to make that work, but DiPietro at 81 overall. It's got to be like the exact same thing. No, nope, doesn't look like there are any goalies. Bunch of, like, are all the goalies in the NHL 81 overall? What the fuck? Maybe just the ones that teams are willing to trade. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We have our team set. And uh, again, the reason why I'm not putting the newly acquired players on the lineup is because I love the way our team's playing for the regular season. And Svechnikov and uh, Texier, they don't have a future here. Maybe Texier does, and I know what you guys are saying. You should play him right now, but... I, I don't care about him, right? We're going to go into free agency again and reshape the squad. We might even have a, a grinder fourth line. So I'm not touching a damn thing. All right, so we can continue our simulation. I, I will just check the contract situation. Let's see what kind of uh, extensions we can offer because we're at that spot right now. Uh, all right, so Tara Vinen doesn't want an extension. Svechnikov does. How much? That's not bad, but I could always just sign him in free agency, so I don't need to do that. Uh, Texier, and I don't know, he doesn't have the good chemistry as well. He's just an overall number. No, guys, no. I, I, we need to continuously have cap space every free agency. I can't do that. Van Ryan, uh, Spiller, Ovechkin, Carlson, uh, Wagner, and Wesley. Defensively, let's see what we got coming up. Carlson's coming up. Payek, Roy, and Bean. Don't need that. Carlson is coming up. How much do you want, buddy? Hell no. Maybe I'll get you back, depending on how well you play. And then DiPietro wants an extension. Hmm. So DiPietro's been our starter, right? I can just take a chance on him. Stats, his save percentage doesn't look great, but his goals, uh, goals against could be better. But his wins and losses could be, I mean, if he jumps, we could get a goalie here for like the next four years nice and cheap. Oh, fuck no. He, oh, he's going to jump. He's going to jump, boys. He's going to jump. So we got a good goalie. But look, I'm not going to pay him that. <laughs> Bednar, what about you? Yeah, but Bednar might not jump, right? So there's no point in paying him. Nah, 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 nah. We just got to leave it. We just got to leave it. Probably should have signed DiPietro a little bit earlier. Oh, well. All right. So let's uh, let's get back. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's do some line changes here. All right, there's more than just the one line change that I made. I wanted to make. First off, special teams, right? All right, so we only got we already got the plus three down here on the special teams. I got Wagner as the uh, what the hell? Hang on, Anderson, Pressburg, who was our? So Nylander was supposed to go in. What Tara Vinen? The fuck? Well. Something happened on our damn power play lines. Did I have Pressburg on the power play the whole year? Did I make that change? I don't feel like I did. Oh, well, hey, we've been winning with it, so it's even better. Uh, maybe I did a best lines or something like that. Okay, so Nylander, Lafreniere, Anderson, Bean, and Gerard. That's going to be our uh, first forward line or first power play line Tara Vinen, Kubalik uh I need a sniper now Ovechkin there you go uh Pressburg yeah it was because we wanted Pressburg on the first line wasn't it yeah so we did have so there's no way okay okay so that's fine I'm gonna keep the plus five then for uh the the, the regular season I'll get Pressburg on the second line uh we're gonna get Tara Vinen in there Kubalik, Ovechkin and then oh two things I want to see Volchenkov first I know he's a defensive defenseman but he does fit on the line. The problem is defensive defenseman, the player type itself, drops it. But I can always throw Volchenkov in there for the power play during the playoffs, right? I'm starting to look at it differently. John Carlson, however, yeah, he doesn't fit on the power play. And he gets only the plus one. So I can take him off there in, in exchange for Bean Gerrard. 
Uh, Bean Gerard. Yeah, you know what? I can't go Roy in there, so I might as well just go Carlson. We'll have a little bit weaker of a second line power play for the for the for the regular season, but for the playoffs, that should be fine. Uh, four man penalty, whatever. And penalty kill. This is where it gets big. Carlo Hayek, Bean. You're off the uh, the penalty kill, and we're gonna go John Carlson. Bang. All right. So that should drastically help out the penalty kill. Pressburg, Anderson, Wagner. I think I wouldn't even take Wagner off. Uh, Teixeira would be nice, and Teixeira's going to be in there for the the playoffs, all right? For right now, Wagner, you can do it with Van Ryan. But Carlson, Volchenkov, Hayek, and Carlo. Uh, again, uh, we're going to go Carlson in there. So John Carlson should just be helping out. Just same thing as Noah Hannafin did last year, all right? Five on five, penalty kill, keeping the puck out of the net, keeping the shot totals low. Extra attacker, Volchenkov. I must have done best lines or did some stupid shit. How the fuck... How? No wonder he's got like, he does not a plus. He's probably getting scored on a lot. That's so annoying. I didn't make that change. Damn, this game. Anderson, Lafreniere, Volchenkov. Bean, Gerard, Pressburg, Taravainen. Pressburg and Nylander. What? What the? F yeah, it got, it got messed up here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Anderson, probably Kubelik. Damn, and I was, I was simulating the whole season doing this shit. Tara Vinen's on the penalty kill, you dumb. Tara Vinen's on the penalty kill. I should, oh, I should put Tara Vinen on the penalty kill. Uh, the thing is, he's a playmaker. I mean, so is... Wagner's a power forward, though, right? Yeah, so if I put... To sh uh, uh, what's his name? Tara Vinen on the penalty kill. Do we get, like, a big minus three there? I could do it for the playoffs. Oh, okay, good call. We'll try that out. Good call, good call. Pressburg, Anderson. Let me go. Might as well instead of Anderson, might as go. Might as well go with uh, what's it called? Tara Vinen. There you go. Tara Vinen. Very nice. Yeah, the lines got. I don't know where did I go. Best lines at some point. How come the five on five lines didn't change then? Weird. I have no clue what happened. Extra attackers. Lafreniere, Pressburg. Shootout line. Lafreniere. Yeah, this all got messed up. There you go. Uh, goalies, Di Pietro and Bednar, and scratch players. You know what? Maybe it was when I was moving players up and down and made some trades. Maybe that was it. Maybe I traded away one of the players that were on those lines, and then they just auto-filled them, and it got, all, it got all funky. Yeah. All right. So, your new look, Seattle Stallions. Uh, we're still running with the top guns for the regular season, but we have the ace in the hole with Svechnikov and Texier. And uh, Jeremy Roy, just in case we need to get another offensive defenseman out there. I could always throw Jeremy Roy out there instead of Hayek to improve the power play, get another offensive defenseman. But I don't think scoring goals has been the problem. All right, so we have uh, we have not been able to, uh, what's it called? We have not been able to keep the puck out of the net. So here's the AHL. People are saying to get the AHL goalies. There you go. Galchenyuk is back in the AHL. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, and we are good to go. You scratched Galchenyuk in the AHL, you goof. I got to it. Relax, boys. My God. The Twitch chats be screaming the top of their lungs just to get me to see what the... You know what? I got to put you guys in the corner. You guys got a timeout. Timeout for you guys. Timeout. All right? Think about what you've done. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for the best uh, year of our franchise with the Seattle Stallions. Can we get to 61 wins, which would be our best season... And on top of that, can we get to 63, which would be the greatest regular season in the history of the NHL? 63, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us start up, or not even start up, let us continue the season simulation right here, all right? So we have the trade deadline up against the Nashville Predators. Let's see, will Alex Tuck get moved one more time? Uh, Stetcher going to Ottawa. So Ottawa trading away first rounders. They're trying to load up. After trading away Shane Wright, they don't know what that, I mean, Pierre Dorian is probably still the owner over there. Just senile, making stupid decision after stupid decision. All right, so that's a 3-2 win. Yes, keep on winning. Keep on winning. Yes. All right, so don't know if John Carlson is contributing to this little bit of a winning streak, but I'd imagine that this team is just on paper, is stacked, and uh, we have the overalls to make up for it. We have the coach that has the A-pluses in the right categories. I just, I got to get some luck during the damn playoffs. We got it in year number five, was it? The year five playoff run where we won the Stanley Cup. We were freaking, we 16 and three during a real time sim. Our team was unstoppable. We won 12 games in a row. I'm hoping that we can do that again, man. I'm hoping that we can do that again. We're going to get to 60 wins, no problem. But are we going to get to 63? 
That's the big question. So 59 wins. No, oh, we need to win every single game now to get to 63. We're not going to get to 63 wins, ladies and gentlemen. There's the 60 win season. Will we get? Oh, no. Oh, we did it. We did it. We got 61 and finished the year with the greatest regular season record in the history of the Seattle Stallions franchise. Lost a few games there towards the end. I'm okay. One shot. Don't worry about it. You guys are acting like uh, you guys are acting like winning uh, the regular season record or winning the President's Trophy actually gives you something. It doesn't because a first round exit eliminates everything. So I will take the failures in the regular season if that means that we have success coming during the playoff run but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages i think the important thing that you need to look at is that your seattle stallions have won count it five president's trophies in a row five president's trophies in a row i mean that is a dynasty as a freaking dynasty. And the, uh, the the buffalo sabers finished the year with 120 points 58 wins and they, they weren't even the best so the sabers might be the team that make it to the uh, the finals from the Eastern Conference, right? Oh, baby. That should be real interesting. So let's take... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see if the... First off, if the regular season has indeed come to an end. If every team has played 82 games. 82, 82, 82, 82. Yeah. So every team has played 82 games. Let us take a look at these individual stats. It seems like this is always the case. We're going to be the best team in like every statistical category. And then a first round exit after like one or two wins. Goals four per game, three of four point two eight. I mean, fuck. We're scoring so many goals, boys. Uh, so many goals against per game. Ooh, we're not the best. We're not even. We're like top five. All right. So man, look at Buffalo keeping the puck out of the net. Jesus, two point four three. Real good. Chats in the way. Sorry, boys. There you go. All right. So goals against average and goals four per game. I'll show you it again. Uh, four point two eight. And goals against, we are top five. All right, power play percentage, we are 11%. My God, Winnipeg, that's pretty good. Oh, shit, our power play, where, where are we? Seattle. Okay, so our power play could be a lot better. It's only 20.7. So are we, we must be getting five on five goals because we're the best goal scoring team in the NHL. Penalty kill percentage, yeah, we're on the bottom part of things. So the penalty kill. So maybe that's the reason why we're letting all those goals in during the playoffs. The penalty kill. Who knows, right? Uh, away record last 10. Yeah, 5, 2, and 3 in the last 10. So we actually lost some overtime games there. But that's okay. Uh, now, individual player stats. This should be very, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Forwards. All right, so everyone's saying Lafreniere is not doing anything. Uh, point per game, plus 30 on a team that's just dominating. He, he's, he's a stud. He's an absolute stud. To Toivo Teravainen, oh yeah, should have signed Leon Dreisaitl, huh? Point per game on the third line by himself, uh, uh, what's it called, third line center, just, just getting it done, plus 51. William Nylander, point per game. Lias Anderson, again, I don't need Dreisaitl when Lias Anderson is putting that together, those kind of seasons. Van Ryan, what the fuck Van Ryan? That's incredible, dude. Now the third line with no power play time. Look, no power play goals. No power play points. A legitimate 74 points plus 62. That third line with Toivo, Teravainen, and Van Ryan is fucking incredible. Uh, Kubalik, Ovi, still getting 50 goal seasons. See, that's why I kept him for the regular season. But now in the playoffs, I'll leave him in there for game one. But if he starts to lose and we're losing because of minuses on that line, taking him out. All right, taking him out. But look at this. You guys want to see the goal totals for Alexander Ovechkin? Holy fuck. Oh, man. One more year. If he can get one more year, he can get to 1,000 goals, ladies and gentlemen. One more year, and he can get to 1,000. But he has uh, he's the greatest goal scorer of all time now. He's absolutely the greatest goal scorer of all time. Good job, Ovi. Uh, all right. Pressburg. Yep. Pressburg with that 40-goal season. We might have slowed him down by taking him off the power play. <laughs> you know? Uh, but that's okay. Plus 30. I'm very happy with Pressburg's, uh, uh, like, like depth. Like, he's ex exactly what we needed with Pressburg. He wasn't even supposed to be much for us just because of the chemistry, and we got him, like, seventh overall, but he's turned himself into, like, a stud. Ludwig Carlson, rookie season for Ludwig, and uh, 24 goal season. So we have another shooter in Ludwig Carlson. So that third line with Van Ryan, Ludwig, and Toivo, we might even want to bring back Toivo just for that. Or, hell, even just use Nylander because they're the same. Use Nylander as the third line center going forward. 
instead of like Sammy Blay, right? Wagner, minus three. Texier, he was on the other team. Don't worry about that. Svechnikov, other team. Wesley, Spiller, minus... I mean, somebody's got to find a way to score goals on us. Uh, defensively, Bean, plus... Si Norris Trophy, Jake Bean. If he didn't win the damn Norris, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, uh, John Carlson, to show you guys what John Carlson did as a member of our team. 20 games played, plus 7, 14 points. That's what I need. That's what I fucking need. All right? Yes. That was a great trade. That was a perfect trade. Gerard plus 36. The, the Wolf, plus 58. So say what you want. Uh, Bean with the Wolf is just fantastic. We just need some good regular C or uh, real-time sim with them. And hey, yeah, welcome back. Hey, yeah, good job. Goaltender, Di Pietro. Save percentage below 9. 46 wins, though. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm hoping that he can just give me an 899 save percentage in the playoffs and I'll be happy. I just don't need like an 830 or an 840. You know what I mean? Some ridiculous number like that. Give me that kind of goals against average and I will do fine in the playoffs. It's a sad world when I'm hoping for an 899 save percentage from my goaltender. Yay. You know what? I've ranted enough on that. Get on that shit. All right, so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I think before we we call it, we should have some fun. To, oh, shit, I should have just stayed in that screen. There's a few players that we parted ways with that we could take a look at and see uh, uh, how they perform. We got to look at Malkin. We got to look at Malkin. <laughs> uh, he's in the AHL. I think he's in the AHL. Uh, Iowa. <laughs> Hang on a second. Iowa. Oh, I went the wrong way. No, I'm not giving up now, though. Iowa Wild, all right? The defenseman. Let's see. Boom, baby! I mean, why are they playing him in the AHL, you stupid fools? <laughs> Valeri Malkin. He's too good for the AHL. Get him up there in the NHL. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. AHL superstar. Demko. Oh, yeah. Demko with the, with the who? The Dallas Stars player stats. Hang on a second. Demko with the Dallas Stars. Were Dallas, were they a good team? I'll have to take a look at them after. Demko. What? Won the Vesna, probably. So the Dallas Stars, the team that kicked us out of the playoffs last year. I don't know how they do it. Sagan just command Malkin. I mean, my God. We got Ovi. They got Malkin. The old timers still getting it done. Defenseman, Heskinen and Klinberg. And then, fuck you. Fuck you. That's what you do for us. Yep. That's what he does during the regular season. Oh my god. He goes up. He plays well for the Dallas Stars. Do we have to face him in the playoffs? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who do we have in round number one? Who do we have in round number one? Who do we have in round number one? The Chicago Blackhawks. All right. So where are the Dallas Stars? They're going up against the Colorado Avalanche. So in round number one, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Chicago Blackhawks. Are these the defending Stanley Cup champions? Yeah. So the two back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions, correct? Yeah, Chicago Blackhawks. All right, so Gall uh oh, did I not trade for Gallagher at the right time? Uh, Strom, Nylander, Connolly, Zabinajad, Barchese, Sunfist, Kirby Dak, Runstrom, Wood, Victor Rask, and Yanmark. They got a pretty good team. They got a pretty good team. They got some good center depth, man. Let me look at that. My God. And defensively, Bachvis, Zenka. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shesterkin. Oh, no. All right. So, you guys let me know what we can do. We have plan B. What I think I'm going to do is going to the, go into the playoffs with the team that we currently have. And if I ever get to an elimination game or trail in a series, we're going with our top squad. Ovi's off. We're going with Svechnikov. We're going with the 80 over. We're going with the overall strats. All right. Because that's the only thing I can think of why we played so bad last year. So if we lose game one, we're going straight to the overalls. If we tie it back up, well, if we tie it back up, then I'll leave the overalls. But yeah, we're going to give the regular season team the chance to get it done. At least John Carlson is in there. But if we start to lose games, John Carlson up to the second line. OV down. Sveshnikov in. Texier in. Like, there's a lots, lots of options for us. So let me know what you guys think. And I will see you all next time. Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez. Oh my
God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card, first inning.